<laughs> Been cooped up inside all day, I guess. All right, so this is my rates, Betaflight 301. This is the stock, uh, this is the PIDs it shipped with, but these are not the Betaflight stock PIDs. And I hope to God this camera sorts itself out when I take off. It did not. That was exciting. This tune is actually not bad. I'm still figuring out the camera. This tune is really... Shit, dude. Battery critical. Wow, got up there, didn't it? Pretty solid, guys. I'm hearing a little bit of D-term oscillation, but I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I got nothing for this. You could raise the D gain a little. Battery critical. To try and clear out a little more of the prop wash oscillations. See what we got here. Well, let's take those D's up. Let's see if that improves things at all. I really feel like that stuff is pretty solid. Motors aren't shuddering on the ground. That's good. No, no, no. That's bad. Do you hear that? I'll do it one more time. There's a little shuddery, oscill crickety oscillation, some people call it. That's excess D gain, and it needs to be stopped. Yep, can't fly like that. That will smoke a motor. We'll take it back down again. I'm surprised that we can't raise it higher. That's really surprising. Let's take it down to... ...25 and 27. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, that's better. Boy, that sucker climbed, stone it.
So, the next thing I want to do is raise the yaw P gain. It still feels a little soft in the turns. Everything else is pretty good. I may end up raising some other P gains as well. For now, we'll just do yaw. I'm hearing some oscillations. I'm hearing some oscillations that I don't think were there before I raised the yaw P gain. So I'm gonna take it back down again. Yeah, you can kind of see him there. You can kind of see him there as I was coming in. A little bit of oscillations there. And I'm hearing them while I'm flying too. They sound regular without the overtones of a uh, D-term oscillation. So they're probably P-term and they may be yaw. Let's take that down to like 85 and see if that's an improvement. Whoa. Well, that's probably too much D-gain. I was hearing uh, sort of fluttery oscillations kind of all the time. Well, I guess we'll take it back down again. And we'll take the yaw peaking down too. I think it was at 70. Ah, yeah. I have been... I certainly hope we didn't smoke a motor. I hope that was just a desync and not a smoke. Let's go find out. So I'm thinking that was a desync. I was hearing uh, oscillations pretty much the whole time I was flying. And I was actually intentionally flying just a little aggressively, constantly sort of swooping and turning to try and bring the oscillations out, kind of pushing the copter a little bit. And then uh, I wanted to see whether they were sort of consistent, constant, whether they came and went, and what they sounded like and then it just sort of dropped out of the sky and tumbled, and I think that feels like a desync. Um, the D gain is not that high. 20, 20, I have almost never seen a copter I couldn't raise the D gain from the beta flight defaults, but you saw that when I put the D gains up to around 30, 35, immediately we got that sort of crickety sounding oscillation that's indicative of excess D gain. So I definitely am going to be looking at the um, the spectral data for this copter. So I, when I went to change the prop that I broke in that crash, I, I, I cleared the black box. I set the black box logging to two kilohertz. Remember the Nyquist limit, which is the, the highest frequency that you will capture without aliasing. So essentially the highest frequency that you're actually recording. The Nyquist limit is one half of your sampling rate. So sampling rate of two kilohertz gives us a Nyquist limit of one kilohertz. And I did that because theoretically a copter, typically the vibrations on a copter are between about 300 and say 450 hertz. But theoretically they could get up into the 500 hertzes and if that's where they are, I wanna know. I wonder if the uh, spectral characteristics of this copter, the vibration characteristics of this copter are not a good fit for the default filters on Betaflight. I'm really surprised that I can't raise the D gains more. That being said, it flies really decently on the stock PIDs, and in fact, I am completely back to the stock PIDs right now, except maybe for, I think I've raised the P just a little. Um, 
When I got to the copter, I checked the motors to see if any of them were hot. None of them were even warm. If you had excess degain and you smoked a motor, the motor would probably still be at least warm. I, I wasn't sitting for that long. I also sniffed the motors. You will smell the smell of burnt enamel if you've damaged a motor. If I take off and I go into a sharp turn and immediately the copter tips again, then we'll know I damaged something permanently. But I hope that that was just a desync and not permanent damage. When we say don't raise your degains too much or you can smoke a motor, all of the things that you're seeing me do are the things that can get you in trouble if you raise your degain too much. I am an expert, and also I sometimes smoke motors. <laughs> but I'm an expert, so hopefully I won't this time. Let's find out. These are the default pigs. So we're getting some oscillations, but I think we may just have to leave this. Battery critical. Sucker climbs. It seems to be flying okay. Holds nose pretty good on those punches. Flips and rolls. Pretty solid. That's not an ultra. Let me do an even sharper one if I can. I, that was me. That was my... I was trying to be so sharp that I banged it. Hang on, let me try one more time. Pretty solid. Let's try some pylon turns here with the P-gain slightly higher. It's really, the stock tune is, I am not sure I can improve significantly on the stock tune. I would like to raise D-gain a little. So you can hear the motors are a little bit unsettled. There's a little bit of shuddering in the motors. I don't know what that is. Um, it feels like the copter has some issues with vibration, uh, but I'm not sure what they might be. I, I can't improve the tune much. Uh, it flies pretty decent, and I can't improve the tune very much without getting myself in trouble, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's do a little flying. Thank <laughs> you. 